Hello, my name is Benedikt Hövedes and this is my dream team. So, uh, my goalkeeper is Manuel Neuer. The competition with uh, Buffon was uh, almost head on head, but I think Manu is the best keeper I've ever seen him in the world. So, um, he's definitely my number one. I knew Manu uh, since, I don't know, when I was 16, 17. So, we grew up together and I saw him um, raising up and how he improved uh, his skills and this was just super impressive and I've never seen this from a goalkeeper before. The way he builds up the game, the way he was uh, playing from behind, it was just impressive. Okay, right defender uh, is Rafinha. He was playing uh, a couple of years with me in, in Schalke, then moved to Bayern and now for playing for Flamengo. And he was uh, had some impressive skills with the ball, but he was running and working a lot. That impressed me a lot. He was like a fantastic duo with the player who is coming uh, later on my uh, right side. And uh, this duo was um, unbeatable, I would say. Central defenders are Chiellini and Marcelo Bordon. Um, both of them are just uh, warriors, like uh, almost uh, never lost a tackle. And the defense are leaders who are always in the front line. And um, you could always lean on their shoulder if you need a help somewhere. And uh, they always had an open ear if you have some issues with something and um, I remember the first day I uh, stepped into the locker room of uh, Juventus and I uh, saw Buffon and Chiellini and obviously I was a little bit surprised but they gave me kisses on the cheekbone and hugged me and uh, said welcome to the Juventus family and this directly gave me a good feeling. So this was next to the pitch but even on the pitch it was just impressive to see um, how much uh, they they um, trained and how much effort they put into their game and how much spirit they create. Uh, even Marcelo Bordon, he was just a massive guy, like almost a two meters guy, fantastic left foot, um, ties like double size than mine. And um, he was just a good guy with a fantastic left shoot and was a good defender. Left defender, I put uh, almost a winger, but I uh, wanted to put him in this first 11, and this is Douglas Costa. Uh, he's just Speedy Gonzalez. He has just uh, the first 10 meters are insane. He's so fast, and uh, you can barely follow him uh, in his dribblings. He has some movements like a typical Brazilian, and this is just impressive. Uh, so he's my left defender. Number six is Pjanic. Um, first of all, he was one guy who impresses me a lot because he speaks seven, uh, six or seven languages perfectly. Uh, he grew up, I think, in uh, Luxembourg somewhere and um, he could immediately speak German, what helped me a lot in the beginning of Juventus. You can give him always a, uh, even a, um, a tough ball uh, during the match and he can control it. He always has an open uh, eye for everybody around him, it looks like he has eyes everywhere around his head. He was always calm, he had the quote uh, of playing free kicks 9 of 10, so it was just impressive. And um, yeah, he's, he was just a good guy and um, an amazing player, I would say. Then on the left side it's uh, Rakitic, I played with him when he was uh, definitely younger and uh, maybe not the uh, yeah, with a nice hairstyle during that time because he was even 19 or 20 um, and explore him a little bit himself but uh, you could see that he had amazing skills and he made a fantastic career after that in Sevilla, went to a captain and after that to Barcelona and um, even there he put his footsteps so uh, pre pretty impressive uh, career, even a nice guy so I put him there. On the right side, if uh, it's Jefferson Fafan, like I said, it was just a perfect duo with Rafinha in the back. Uh, those both guys were um, running up and down the line, and Jeffy um, was even like Douglas Costa, super fast. Um, he made in incredible free kicks, 
made a lot of assists for my headers. Together we had a fantastic time in Schalke and that um, over years, so uh, he's definitely um, worse to play in my, uh, yeah, even now in, in Loco, but unfortunately we didn't play that many games together because uh, he was injured for such a long time, but we are looking forward that he's coming back. Uh, on the number 10 is uh, Dybala. Uh, Dybala is um, yeah, just stunning, I would say, what, uh, what kind of skills he has in the game. Like, um, he's not that fast like Douglas uh, Costa, for instance, but he has the dribbling. Even in very important games, he always, or a lot of times, he make a last-minute scorer um, and uh, yeah, took action for many uh, fantastic victories for us. The strikers are Raul, first of all, um, even if he was uh, older when we played together and he was not that fast anymore, but you could see that he's just an incredible good uh, player. Uh, he barely lost one ball, it looks like he has some um, um, like some magnet on, on his foot because he always went through the guys but he never lost the ball and he made one of the most impressive uh, loops over the goalkeeper with the left or with the right even if he was almost uh, yeah, five meters in front of the goal he even made then a chip so it was just impressive. I think it was his his first match against Bayern in the preseason, and his uh, first goal he scored for us was a chip over the keeper, and everybody got crazy. And that's where a big love story starts with with Schalke, I think, from both sides. And next to the pitch, he was down to earth. He was very humble, even if he were um, so successful in his career. And this impresses me almost more than uh, his performances on on the pitch because. Um, I really appreciate when people are down to earth, even if they are super successful. And um, so the second striker is um, I cannot decide to be honest uh, between uh, Huntela and uh, Higuain. Uh, I would choose, I guess, ah, difficult. Uh, I would say maybe Huntela because I played longer years together with him, and I um, appreciate uh, even the friendship we had. Um, he was an impressive box player, same like Higuain almost, because uh, both of them has an amazing first touch and they scored so many goals after the first touch. They, do, uh, they don't need a lot of space to score. They have a fantastic volley shoot, uh, could score with the left and with the right, doesn't matter. And just have the nose for narrow situations where the ball comes through, the second ball or whatever. Um, they always have the nose um, where the ball comes on and we're there. And I think this is an, an a fantastic skill the striker needs and they had it. We, I played in, in Germany, Italy and Russia, so I chose the uh, Premier League in, in England. I think we have a good um, possibility to get on the top of the table. With this dream team, nothing can fail. <laughs>